time to open our eyes. Climate change is impacting everyone. I have a small example uh, on the big picture from Sweden, where we have an, an ocean which has been covered with ice every winter for the past 150 years or longer. The last three, four years, no ice. We have to take climate change seriously, and I'm going to challenge you to take it seriously. Internally here in Digi, we can make a lot of difference. We can make a change. The world is getting warmer. Any change in the weather can affect the quality of life on Earth including our little furry friends on the North Pole and the trees that keep our planet green. Environmentalists and scientists are telling us if the world's temperature rises any more, even at one degree, the icebergs will melt even faster. The sea level will rise, changing the weather patterns with the potential to devastate life in river deltas and wetlands. It's real and the impact is closer to home than you think. Back in 2006, over 70,000 people in the southern region of Malaysia celebrated their Christmas in flood relief centres. It was all because of massive floods that rose to 10 feet in some places. For days, it was raining heavily, causing the rivers to overflow. Many were caught off guard. Fifteen people died. Some major towns were totally cut off. The first time we reached there, we found that we were the first non-government organization to reach there at our base somewhere in Tangkak. It was so bad, I can see all the houses, buildings, crops and other things were damaged. We can say it's a total loss to the victims. The hall was so crammed with a lot of people because I can see more than 10 families were placed there in one big hall. Actually, it was quite big but more than 10 families in one big hall, what do you expect? The devastation was really bad. The place that we went to was Pago. One of it was called Kampung Paya Limpah. What we did was we actually went to two houses and we actually helped to clean up the house and the place was devastation. It's like you see rusting bicycles and motorbikes, topsy-turvy things, furnitures, rotting wood furnitures, you know, and rusted stuff. You, you just can't believe it, you know. And we could actually see the water level demarcation on the walls and it was really right at near the rooftop. Within 24 hours, the total rainfall was the same as the annual rainfall in the south of New South Wales. At 1.5 billion ringgit, it was considered to be the costliest flood in Malaysian history. Now that you know how climate change has impacted your life, aren't you motivated to do something about it? If you look at our DG values, being daring, dynamic and being different, um, that drivers basically to look at supporting the environment from different perspectives. One of the first things we have to uh, embark on was the uh, paperless concept. In one year, we are able to save 2,000 reams of paper. Other things that we are driving is really looking at how to make this building more energy efficient by looking at the uh, various lighting energy requirements. In the long term, I see us being more green conscious for this to be successful, everyone in DG has to play a very big part. Carpooling does reduce pollution. I think if everybody carpool, it will help the company to save more parking space, at the same time save petrol for everybody. And I think all of us can sort of like reprioritize what we are doing in the office. Basically, I'm a f I, I just got married and I was thinking of uh, my family and the future. And I want to have a better environment for my children and the, and the next generation. It's important for us to start now so that we have something left behind. 
On a personal level, uh, me and my wife have started to change to uh, energy saving light bulbs, recycling all our uh, trash. We also try to reduce energy uh, usage by switching on minimal lights at night. For myself, with the company, I have uh, also encouraged uh, the company to take up global courses like 60 hour, Earth hour, uh, where we switch off uh, lights uh, for an hour frequently so that this would encourage uh, awareness uh, among the staff to save energy. I think I started recycling sometime um, five years ago when I first met my wife. Uh, my wife is, uh, is very conscious when it comes to recycling. She's very conscious when it comes to separating the trash. So I guess it's probably because it was quite... I was trying to impress her, so, so I just went ahead with it. Then pretty soon I realised that there were actually quite a lot of benefits uh, to that. What happened was that my, my wife and me, we always separate our trash out. We separate the papers, we separate the, the tins, we separate uh, plastics. And then what we do is that we put them into separate bags. So we thought that finding a recycling centre in Malaysia is easy because of all the awareness that, that people have been talking about. But we found that it's actually so difficult. Uh, because of all the, the deforestation and the development that's going on in Federal Hill, just near Bangsa, there have been a number of snakes and huge lizards that have been coming around and basically going into the residential areas. And one cobra basically came within five feet of where my daughter was playing one morning. And if you thought that a cobra was unseen in Bangsa, it's happening now. It's a real story. My neighbours face it. Uh, their dogs have been catching a few of these uh, snakes as well. We'd always con complain about you know low visibility and general loss of air quality. But you know, it took something as trivial as a new car to make me realise how bad the haze really was. When I bought a new car, and it so happened to be the height of the haze problem a few years ago, and I washed it and I left it out in my porch, and within half an hour to 45 minutes, there was a thin blanket of dust just sitting on the car. On the, on the car. I, sitting on the car is one thing, but you know, if you're breathing in that sort of air, what's happening to our lungs, what's happening to, the, to our children as well? And that really frightened me. In the end, Didi's philosophy is about change, as you know. So please join me in trying to make this change happen for the climate, our way. As you feel the heat, it's time to change. <laughs>